Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of Loot Gaming on uh, Stitch of Skin. Look at this, we've got more crates, we've got Loot Gaming to deal with. Look at this box, we need to go inside of it. So let's take a look inside! Ooh. Okay, so what have we got here? Grab a t-shirt, of course, we're going to go out to the wine! How's it going guys? Thank you very much for watching. It's great to see you back again. Thank you very much for coming to another unboxing here on Pastiche of Skin. We are, I mean, we we're approaching a year of doing crates here on this channel. And I want to say thank you very much for anybody who's actually been watching regularly here on the station because you keep seeing them, you keep talking about them, you keep looking at this stuff, and then I'll keep getting it and telling you what's inside of it. If you want to grab stuff like this in the future, of course, you can always go to lootcrate.com. The code underneath the video will give you a discount and also will give me a little bit of a kickback for doing so. So make sure to support the channel for doing these kind of things. So what do we got here? Ooh, nice t-shirt. Always good in black, but of course, Kinda of good helps whenever it's actually a good top as well. This one's for Titanfall 2. Mecha. It's got mecha on it. I'm okay. I'm happy. I'm happy as long as there's mechs. Yeah, Titanfall 2 has been given a lot of crap release lately. It's timing of release was a bit silly. It deferred to come out right after Battlefield 1 and before... Well, did it actually come out before Infinity Warfare? But you know, it's kind of like... It sits in that one spot where obviously it was competing with a number of other games. And that didn't do it in a good stead. But I've heard the campaign that is absolutely awesome. I mean, I'd love to sit down and play through it, but I just, I, I can't buy a game that's going to push me towards multiplayer whenever I don't really enjoy <laughs> multiplayer. But I do enjoy Titanfall to a degree. It's, a, it's, one of those, it's one of the few games I actually bothered getting onto an Xbox One for so I could play the original Titanfall. And it was a good game, good fun. Enjoyed it with friends. I'm glad that it's actually gone multi platform now so that. Everybody can get to enjoy it. Oh, it's a bit weird to actually have a sequel without an original coming out for a different platform. But yeah, the print in this looks really nice. It um, reminds me a lot of Metal Gear Solid. The, the old kind of art inky prints that they did for Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2. It's nicely done. The spray paint in the background looks well put in. It's the usage of the black t-shirt works really well. Although I would have liked to have seen this on grey. Maybe if they had done this in grey and printed the black parts, you know, I kind of did the opposite inversion kind of thing. But um, yeah, I like this. This is going to be a nice shirt. It's a Loot Crate exclusive, of course. So with this printer printing design, you can't get anywhere else. So yeah, I like that. Another black t-shirt for the collection. I mean, I'm literally wearing one right now, so yeah. <laughs> it just adds on to the fact that I'm going to be wearing black shirt over black shirt and more black shirts every time they keep sending me one. Oh, oh crap. There's my glasses. <laughs> Well, guess what? It fits kind of comfortably too. So let's take a look at what else is inside the box. Right, here we go. What have we got in here? All right, grab something that actually looks like really obviously in front of the camera. Look at this. Reaper. Pop final figure. Funko Pops. Cool. They do the exact same thing with this that I don't like with a lot of the other figures. I already have a Tracer. I don't like her because they go the, like they really do a detailed body, but it's really like the proportion sizing is a bit off. I'm a wee bit worried that this one it's gonna have, well, I don't think it's gonna have the same problem as Tracer because uh, they do girl feet, tiny. This one's got like a reasonably sized feet, he'll stand on his own. But we've got Reaper now, so I've got Tracer on one side, I've got Reaper on the other side. Maybe I'll actually just have the Gundam beat the crap out of both of them because that's what we've been doing with uh, Tracer so far. So, yeah, cool. Uh, another Funko Pop. Um, I mean, what, what can you say about them? They're ubiquitous everywhere. I'm sure this is actually a reasonably popular one. It's not an exclusive of any sort, it's just Reaper. So, fair play to them for throwing that in the crate. Um, another doodad collectible for the shelf. Everybody knows about Overwatch, everybody knows about the characters. I mean, there's no real point of me kind of extolling virtues or talking about them too much because everybody knows who the hell they are. I mean, <laughs> if you don't, then you're not really following gaming at all. So yeah, Overwatch. Uh, obviously, he appears in the most recent trailer for Sombra, the uh, the new character they've added, who looks interesting. Um, I probably should play more Overwatch, but again, multiplayer shooters, not my massive cup of tea. So what can I, what can I extol the virtues on? Whenever I'm not one of the top tier kind of like god level MLG womp womp yeah kind of people, not my thing. So yeah, uh, what have we got here? We've got. Sucks. Motherfucking sucks. Motherfucking sucks. Admittedly, Zelda sucks. Which kind of removes like the annoyance a little bit. Um, also the fact it's got Ganon on them. One of my favorite characters. And actually a pretty cool version of Ganon. I mean, it looks like a kind of a Wind Waker style Ganon. So yeah. Ganon. In sock form. It's just, they have an actual thing for getting socks. So, 
can you give it to them instead? But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll wear those. I'll wear those. Buy socks. Okay, what else we got in here? Ooh! So we got, finally, whenever we had a speed create a few months ago, or not a few months ago, probably last month, wasn't it? Month before last. And they didn't do anything for Sonic the Hedgehog, but instead now they give us fingerless gloves. Although I do love the fact that they got Robotnik's design on them, and they're, they're stitched in rather than printed, are they? No, I feel like... It feels like a stitch patch, but it looks like they're actually printed on. But yeah, um, I like fingerless gloves. I like keeping my hands warm during the winter. So this is actually something utilitarian. Utilitarian usage is always welcome. Um, these will become my finger gloves for the next couple of months. So let's get this unwrapped. Yep, there we go. So, Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic, he can really move. Sonic, he's got an attitude. Sonic, he's the fastest thing alive! Yeah, does anyone else remember Sonic Sad AM? The actual, like, good Sonic cartoon? Yeah. And uh, the, the furry that shipped a many is a furry. Uh, uh, Sally, the person. But yeah, there we go. Look at those fingers. Look at those fingers! Look at them exposed! Look! These are actually quite comfortable. Um, I have pretty big, meaty hands. So the fact that these fit quite comfortably, I mean, one size fits all tends to be with these. Um, texture is nice, not too itchy. Uh, the print doesn't get in the way too much if this is on the back of the knuckles. So yeah, I actually like these. Two-tone uh, fingerless gloves. We got my hobo on. Okay, so what else we got in here? We have Pac-Man. Pac-Man adhesive badges inside a cardboard box. Um, I don't... Oh, well, yeah, adhesive badges. Great. Um, what am I going to do with this? I mean, essentially, just... I don't... It's, I don't like sticky things. I never have been a sticky thing person. You know those people who used to meet you in the street and actually ask for charities and then they go try to attack you with a sticker? Try to attack you with it? Um, no, never never been a fan of that. If you want me to give you the charity, um, you take that sticker and shove it up your ass a lot of the time. But yeah, there we go. Um, got a wee plaster, so... Put my finger. I can easily throw on a little bit of Pac-Man. There you go. <laughs> Does exactly what they are. Admittedly, um, the fact that they're in a cardboard box is a little bit shitty. Uh, the last pack of bandages I got from Loot Crate was Attack on Titan bandages, back with like the first or second Loot Anime Crate. And they came like in a nice little tin that kept them dry and safe. And uh, yeah, I like that. I like the I like the way of kind of like keeping them usable. And then having like a wee stash boxy kind of like thing you could use for other strap afterwards. This is um, <laughs> kind of shit and I love the fact that this is probably the first thing, the only thing ever to be in a loot crate that has its price tag still on it. So if you can turn around and say to me that this crate is meant to be worth $30, I know exactly where $1, and that's retail, went for this item. So you're chatting 20 cents, 15 cents? You know, you didn't exactly print these up yourselves, did you? Um, yeah, Boston America Corp. Well done, loot crate. <laughs> that was... That was a great choice, you know. So yeah, we got another thing here. We got a super new Super Mario Brothers two, timely, well uh, timed for the release of the game in like a year ago. So yeah, um, it's magnetic. So great, it'll I'll throw it here somewhere and it'll destroy some piece of electronics that I don't want to have damaged. So great, uh, fridge magnet. We got our pin for Rumble October twenty sixteen, which uh, is a pin. As always, and um, hmm. it's a pin. As always, it's an interesting pin, isn't it? Uh, for Luke Gaming, I don't think there's anything extra for the pins. So, yeah, uh, we're gonna be greatly, greatly excited about getting uh, that piece of metal, whatever it is. So, what have we got here? Uh, okay, Rumble. Whether you prefer smacking your enemies with a giant mech. Taking them out with a heroic sword, or just using your plumber's boots. Victory is all that matters. The month's Luke Gaming crit begins the rumble to your doorstep with collectibles and apparel from Overwatch, Legend of Zelda, Titanfall 2, Sonic the Hedgehog, and Super Mario Brothers, including exclusives you won't find anywhere else. So what was exclusive in this crit? Uh, the design on the Titanfall shirt, um, the pin, Exclusive Mario Magnet, which uh, obviously was a promotional material for um, New Super Mario Bros. 2, so no doubt that's truly exclusive. And um, exclusive design of socks. So the 
The super swag epic drop for this month was a light up keyboard, a mouse, a pair of headphones and a mouse mat up to $250 value. And they have a special competition, Rumble in the Box. Contest ends November 20th. Show us how you looked after your last Rumble. Use the Pac-Man badges included from this contest and send us your best post-battle selfie with hashtag Loot Rumble for a chance to win a Nintendo Wii U with Super Smash Brothers. Uh, that's great. Um, so, do you want to see my selfie? There it is. I'm about posting up on Instagram. This is how upset I am. And also, like, I'll be showing other stuff that I'm wearing in the picture. I'm sure that'll be exactly what they need for me to win a console. Obviously, it's probably gonna go to like some 12 year old that's got bandages all over his face. I can't stand sticky things, so they probably better damn appreciate that I'll even use one of them. So, um, yeah, check it out. Poster that comes along with it, of course. Uh, Rumble looks kind of like it's, <laughs> it looks like uh, Streets of Rage characters along with ninjas. Um, nice enough poster. Although I do miss the manuals from Loot Gaming, they were an interest. They were a they were a nice touch because they were related to the subject. I'm pretty sure they decided to stop doing them because people said that they didn't care about them, and it's cheaper to print out this than it is to do a manual that actually looks like a video game manual for some particular console. So yeah, um, this crate doesn't. I mean, they, 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 they look like they've actually changed the crate design slightly. There is uh, tabs on the inside of the crate now for a uh, way it folds in. So I'm assuming that's actually meant to be. Something particular for this crate. I'm just looking here. Is it? It doesn't look like there's any real point in me changing the design, turning this inside out because the, you can see in the inside like there's actually just stuff on the walls of it, and that'll be the underside of it. So it looks like um, a stack. Of, well, to be honest, what it looks like is a stack of fag butts, cigarette butts, but it's meant to be uh, bullet casings, I imagine, or guns. Yeah, I think they're meant to be like the shotguns that Reaper drops after every load or whatever, and they disappear. But, uh, die, 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 loot comes for us all. So, yeah, using a couple of quotes from Overwatch to sell the interior of the crate. <sighs> loot gaming. So, this t-shirt, this, this, pair of socks, um, yeah. I suppose this was what, this is actually, you would pay, what, 17 bucks for this in a shop, retail. Uh, the shirt you pay, what, 12 bucks for retail, maybe up to 19, matter in the brand. These you probably pay about six, seven bucks for. The bandages are a buck. Um, yeah, so over $30, but um, not a bad crit. Not, not, not a completely awful crit. Uh, the bandages kind of like irk me a little bit because of the packaging for them and obviously the price being on the object. Everything else is all right. I mean, that's probably the nicest thing. This, this is the nicest thing in the crit. I actually like the socks, even though I give shit to Loot Crate about their goddamn socks. Because goddamn socks, you have an entire branding for giving out socks. But you choose not to actually put the socks in there. You put them inside my crate, where other things could have gone instead. So yeah, this is meant to be Rumble. Um, the only thing that says Rumble to me is maybe the Smash Brothers reference with the Wii U. So they have... Pac-Man's uh, Link and Mario in it. That's the only thing that really says Rumble to me. But, um, yeah. That's that great for the month. Uh, that was Loot Gaming. We're probably coming near to the end of our subscription for Loot Gaming for uh, the year. So uh, we may be running low on those in the future. But yeah, if you guys uh, liked watching me tear through that box, wear some gloves and put on a bandage, then you can go over here and actually, of course, click on other stuff that's actually on my channel that's a little bit more interesting than unboxing crates. And if, of course, you can hit up, probably up here in the corner somewhere around here, a subscription button. So you can see every video as it come out over the weeks. Um, at the moment, there's a couple of video series that are ongoing. There'll be new episodes up uh, every day or every other day. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye. <laughs>